hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week one assignment week one assignment of the course introduction to machine learning guys for the past five to six years almost we have been providing solutions for various nptl courses so for introduction to machine learning also we have previously done for many years the providing the solutions for the students right so with that experience only we are providing the solutions for this season as well so this is week one assignment guys so these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we will update that in the comment section so before final submission once again check the comment section you can also suggest your own solutions as well in the comment section we can review that based on the workload right first question which of the following are supervised learning problems so guys please watch the video till the end don't skip the video you may miss some content if you do so and definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video this is the most important part definitely like the video then only our channel will reach more number of students so that they will also get benefited like you right so for first question we have got two probable solutions the first one is option b weather forecast using data collected by a satellite and the other one is option c guys predicting tuberculosis using patient's chest x-ray so these two are the probable solutions guys definitely share this video with your friends and classmates and do let them know about the channel so that they will also get instant updates after subscribing the channel now let's move on to the next question guys which of the following are regression tasks so for second question Second option is the probable solution guys predicting the weight of a giraffe based on its weight so actually it should one of the words should be height and the other should be weight uh, they may they have mistakenly might have might have given that so ignore that so predicting the height of a giraffe based on its weight maybe or it could it could be vice vice versa so option B could be the probable solution for that guys next moving on to the third question now guys definitely subscribe our, our channel and definitely like our videos so that you can get instant updates after subscribing the channel and our videos will reach more number of students if you like the video right and please share these videos within your in our, our channel within your whatsapp unofficial groups guys for you with your friends and classmates so that they will also subscribe our channel to get instant updates next third question which of the following are classification tasks so for third question we have got three probable solutions let's start from the bottom so option d identifying abnormal data points and next option c predicting the emo emotion conveyed by a sentence and the other one is option a guys predicting the outcome of an election so these three are the probable solutions guys please watch the video till the end don't skip the video you may miss some content if you skip the video right next so this two dimensional plot is common data for question 4 and 5 so based on this these two questions were designed so this blue color straight line is f1 function and this pink color curvy line is f2 so now let's see the questions which of the two functions overfit the data so for fourth question option c I mean third option f2 function f2 is the probable solution next moving on to the fifth one which of the following two functions will yield higher training error so for fifth question first option function f1 is the most probable solution guys next so moving on to the uh, before moving into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so these are past nptl assignment mcqs along with detailed solutions for most of the for many questions for many questions detailed solutions provided except for some questions so these are exam preparation mcqs these are past nptl assignment mcqs along with the detailed explanations for many questions for the course machine learning iit madras with five years more than five years experience we are providing this huge number of 600 plus mcqs guys not only 600 600 plus mcqs for just 500 rupees only 
up to 5 members can access that if you make payment for 500 up to 5 members can access that so huge number of 600 plus mcqs validity will be till the exam results publishing day so no need to worry about that so search option is provided and easy to revise so these are you can get that in a google drive pdf restricted link so this is the mail id if you are confirmed to make the purchase bk179417 at the red gmail.com so already many students even professors have also taken our pack and prepared for the final exam for many years guys so bk179417 at the red gmail.com so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase 600 plus mcqs for just 500 rupees only up to five members can access that so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions and definitely don't forget to discuss this with your friends and classmates and take it as a group to get for less individual price because you can share the price within of 500 with five members right so don't forget to discuss this within your whatsapp college groups unofficial groups with your friends and classmates guys so this is the mail id i'll give the same email id in the description box also already many students have taken our and professors also taken our pack previously guys and prepared for the final exam right now let's see the remaining solutions question and solutions so sixth question what does the term policy refer to in reinforcement learning so for this question fourth option the strategy the agent follows to choose actions this is the most probable solution next moving on to the seventh question so seventh question they have given a data set table x1 x2 and y so for k equal to 3 use knn aggression so data point 2 comma 3 use euclidean distance measure for finding closest points so what is the new prediction new point for data point prediction so what is the euclidean distance for seventh question of third option 2.8 is the probable solution next moving on to the eighth question for any given data set comment on the bias of bias of uh, comment on the bias of k nearest classifiers upon increasing the value of k so for eighth question third option option c we can treat it as the bias of the classifier increases so this is the most probable solution next bias and variance are given by so they are asking uh, the formula for bias and the formula for measuring variance so for ninth question first option is the probable solution guys first option so be before getting into this last question once again i want to make sure that to make you remember so mail me to this email id bk179417 at the gmail.com if you are confirmed to make the purchase huge number of 600 plus mcqs for just 500 only up to five members can use that you can you will get that pdf in a google drive pdf restricted link so bk179417 at the gmail.com so already many students and even professors are have also taken our pack even professors and associate professors are also have also taken our pack previously guys and prepared for the final exam right now let's see the last solution which of the following statements are false regarding bias and variance so for 10th question there are two probable solutions the first one is option a models which overfit have high bias and the other one is option 3 models which underfit have a high variance So mark these two as the probable solutions for last question. So friends, these are the most probable solutions for week one assignment of the course machine learning IIT Madras. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, definitely subscribe our channel. Definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates. And don't forget to purchase this huge number of 600 plus MCQs pack. Mail me to this email ID if you are confirmed to make the purchase. So that's it guys. We need your continuous support and encouragement to do further videos. So keep subscribe our channel forever. So that's it guys for this video. So until the next video, goodbye.